Hi, I'm James McKernan. Welcome again to York University. Today what I'm going to show you is how to reskin an old flat. A lot of times flats, which are the fake walls we use in theater, the skins on them get overused. And what I'm going to recommend is that you replace the skin and reuse the frame. So uh, Awais, Sarah, who's on camera, and I are going to help you learn how to do that. Awais, come on, let's get this flat and put it on the bench, please. Okay. And what we can do, away is we want to put it uh, face down. So let's turn it. Yeah. There we go. Great. Now, come on in and have a look at this. This is the ribbing on the back of this flat. It's uh, close to eight feet uh, tall, this flat, and it's four feet wide. This particular one is made out of plywood ribbing, which is fine. This size, it's easy to do under eight feet or even under 10 feet. It's really easy to put one of these to, uh, to good use. Uh, I'm going to show you how to remove the skin, clean off the uh, residue of the old flat, and, uh, or the old skin of the flat, and then put a new skin on it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is knock the, the skin off it. And the easiest tool to use doing that is a wooden mallet. So all I'm going to do is gently... flat and knock it off and now it's off so Oasis, what we want to do is we want to lift this frame up and we'll lean it up against here and this skin is now garbage so we can take it and we'll just lean it up over here for now. We may be able to cut it down into smaller pieces to use it for something, but we're not sure. Can you take the frame, please, and, and put it on the, the bench? Great. Come on in close. What you end up with are the staples sticking out. And this particular flat wasn't glued particularly well. Uh, so you can see the staples sticking out of the end grain of the plywood, but you don't have a lot of what we see over here, and it's not even on it. You know what? This skin wasn't even glued on. Well, so it's easier to reskin. I'll show you another time how to clean that up, but for now, this is pretty easy. You're just going to pop the staples out, and my preferred tool for this are the uh, uh, end cutters. You don't squeeze too hard with the end cutters, you just pop them right off you're squeezing onto the staple and then you're not going to cut it. You just squeeze it to hold it, hold your hands together and then you lever it over and the roundness of the front of the tool just pulls the staple right out.